The sample was dried in the Bushnell funnel for an hour. When using a volatile solvent such as ethanol for recrystallization, the sample should be placed in an Erlenmeyer flask as a safety precaution against fires. The filter paper was wet with cold ethanol and the vacuum was turned on before adding the crystals to the Bushner funnel. The sample was dried in the Bushner funnel for an hour. So here I'm adding 5 drops of isoval aldehyde. And then I'm adding 2 mils of water. And now I'm adding 1,2-dimethoxyethane dropwise until the compounds dissolve. And now we need 2 mils of 10% sodium hydroxide to add it into our test tube. Making sure our water bath is at 60 degrees, I'm putting the test tube into our warm water bath. And now I'm going to add the iodine solution until the color stays for 2 minutes in the warm water bath. Now I'm adding 10% sodium hydroxide until it turns colorless. I'm now diluting the solution with cold water. Moving on to our next known compound, I'm adding 5 drops of benzaldehyde into the test tube. Adding 2 mils of water. I'm adding 1,2-dimethoxyethane dropwise until compounds dissolve. Adding 2 mils of 10% sodium hydroxide. And then putting it in the 60 degrees warm bath. And now I'm adding the iodine solution until the color stays brown. I'm adding 10% sodium hydroxide dropwise until the solution turns clear. and it goes back into the warm water bath for five minutes. Diluting it with cold water, and we're gonna set that aside for our next known compound, 3-pentanone. I'm adding five drops of 3-pentanone in the test tube, adding two mils of water,
I'm adding 1 to dimethoxyethane dropwise until the compounds are dissolved. I'm adding 2 mils of 10% sodium hydroxide. And that goes into our 60 degrees warm bath. And now I'm adding the iodine solution until the color stays for 2 minutes inside the warm bath. Adding 10% sodium hydroxide dropwise until the solution turns clear. We're going to put that in the warm bath for 5 minutes and we're diluting it with cold water. Moving on to our last known compound, acetone. I'm adding 5 drops of it into the test tube. I'm adding 2 mils of water. And now I'm adding 1 to dimethoxyethane dropwise until compounds dissolve. Adding 2 mils of 10% sodium hydroxide. And into the 60 degrees warm bath. I'm now adding the iodine solution until it turns brown. In this case, it precipitated immediately. I'm adding 10% sodium hydroxide dropwise until the solution turns colorless. And then I'm going to heat it for 5 minutes. I didn't show it here, but I diluted it with cold water. Finally, we're working on our unknown. I'm adding 5 drops of it into the test tube. I'm adding 2 mils of water in there. And now I'm adding 1 to dimethoxyethane dropwise until compounds are dissolved. And I've added 2 mils of 10% sodium hydroxide. And into the warm water bath it goes. Adding the iodine solution until it turns brown. And again, this one also precipitated immediately. Adding 10% sodium hydroxide dropwise until the solution turns colorless. We left that in the warm water bath for 5 minutes. And I've diluted it with cold water. Here I'm preparing Tolens reagent. I'm mixing 5 ml of Tolens solution A with 5 ml of Tolens solution B in a 25 ml Erlenmeyer flask. I'm adding 10% ammonia until the precipitate dissolves. I didn't show it here, but I also added bis to ethoxy ethyl ether in each of those test tubes to make a homogeneous solution. In each of those test tubes, I added 40 drops of the Tolene's reagent that we just made, and I mixed them. We're heating the test tubes in a 60 degrees water bath for 5 minutes and we're looking for either a silver mirror or black precipitate. That is the isoval aldehyde test tube. That's the benzaldehyde test tube. That one is the 3 pentanone test tube.
that is the acetone test tube, and that is our unknown test tube. Now I'm adding four drops of chromic acid reagent in each of those test tubes, mixing after each drop. We're showing you the colors once more. The first test tube is isovaloraldehyde. Second one, benzaldehyde. Third one, three pentanone. Fourth one, acetone. And fifth one, our unknown.